Hello and welcome to the second video in this uh, kind of series for me making my own clothes this year. So um, today I thought that we would plan a few things that I want to make this spring um, and I usually plan in my head and sometimes I, I will make kind of a mood board or something not a mood board maybe but <laughs> a small plan maybe you can call it uh, for something that I want to do in the future maybe it's a new season or it's um, yeah something that's coming up so I, I know I have to make something to go with something else <laughs> uh, and today I'm in my corner again and I hope that I have better focus this time because I yeah, the camera was focusing on different things last time. So I have a few, I have um, an embroidery here. Um, I'm, I'm uh, currently making a case for my camera. <laughs> because I bought it second hand and it doesn't come, it didn't come with a case. So I have to make one. So I, I'm making like um, a woolen... Uh, let's see here, can focus. A woolen um, uh, cross stitch pattern, and then I line it with like linen cloth or something that I have at home, and make it into a a camera um, case. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I thought that I would talk a, a bit about how I plan my wardrobe usually and how I decide on what I want to make in the future maybe something like this yeah so you can see what I'm doing with my hands um, so usually I have a plan for what I'm doing uh, the next for the next season uh, if, sometimes it's a coat or sometimes it's a I want to knit a scarf or knit a sweater for a special use or something um, so usually I have a plan uh, but I but I, I don't always have a specific plan um, it's it, it can be like I want to make I want to make a skirt because I wear skirts a lot so I will go to the fabric fabric store and find a fabric that I want to use and then I buy it and then I make the skirt because I know that I won't I know that I will wear it so it, it isn't like a wasteful thing because um, because I don't want to make clothes that I don't want or that I won't wear so yeah that's usually what I do but now I have a more specific plan and I hope and I have really thought about what I want and what I need in my wardrobe and things that I that, that I have been wanting for a long time so it's a few challenges to make the things that I have on my list but I'm very excited um, yeah excited and uh, yeah I want to learn more so I want to um, kind of I want to you know um, how do you say it oh I can light this one because it's yeah. Um, I want to um, increase my knowledge about sewing and knitting and stuff like that and, and I also have um, a job in the summer with my my craft trio <laughs> I don't know if you call, call that but, uh, but I, I have um, a craft trio with two friends um, that's called Kraft. Uh, it's like in in uh, Swedish, it's spelled the same way as Kraft, but with a K, and it means power. So, yeah. Um, but um, we have a, a job in the summer that's um, that's about knitting. <laughs> yeah, and learning other people to knit and learning about grading patterns and um, materials and stuff. So I, uh, yeah, I need to, I need to find out how to, 
to grade and stuff and that's that really scares me because I haven't I, I haven't made patterns before, knitting patterns, but I haven't uh, made different sizes because I made uh, kind of like um, a pair of mittens and I have made a, a pouch for a menstrual cup. So yeah, that's that's not grading anything. So I have to do that this spring, which both is is very exciting but very terrifying as well. So you can imagine. <laughs> But yeah, and I will show you my plan for the for the foreseeable future, and um, and then we'll go from there. It's very addicting, this this kind of thing because when you start, it's uh, because I'm making tri triangles. Um, you make one very fast, so then you want to make another and another and another. Yeah, so it's very it's very fun. I can really recommend doing this. Um, yeah, if you want to do like cross stitch, but don't want to make a um, what do you say a, um, a wall hanging or something. <coughs> Sorry. So I have my. Uh, yeah, it's very bright. It's okay. I have my um, book here that I that that I use for. Um, like ma making patterns or sketching and stuff and I have a sewing plan sewing plans spread for spring 2021 and it's a little bit wet well, that's okay so I have one two three four five six seven items here so I will start with the top one I think <laughs> so uh, I want to make a blouse and um, that's because I want to I want to focus on making like the top part, <laughs> so uh, like tops and and things because I have a lot of skirts and I have a lot of dresses, but then you obviously don't need a top. But I I have a lot of skirts that I wear with like a black t-shirt, and I th I think that's that's nice and that's fine. Um, but I want to have the possibility to to pair it with like a shirt or something yeah a little more dressed up so uh, I want to make a bunch of shirt uh, but to be able to do that I, w I have to kind of make a pattern so uh, or I will buy one maybe yeah I have a printer now so now I can buy my own patterns and print them out so yeah maybe I buy um, a pattern for a blouse so that it gets like the, the nice proportions, you know. Um, yeah, and I also have one in the making. So, oh, sorry, that's really annoying. It's a really weird weather day or weather weekend. Oh, yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> so I will, yeah, I will make a bunch of shirts, and I want to make a few black ones, obviously, because I. I wear black a lot, <laughs> uh, but I also want to do uh, like a striped one and a white one because I have, yeah, a fair amount of of um, white linen. So I want to use that, of course, and um, yeah, make a shirt. So that's nice, and um, I think I, I'm going to go, go through the. Sorry, I want to go through the sewing part first, first and then I will go onwards towards the knitting. Um, yeah, so the next thing is a bit challenging as well, but it's a bra and that's because uh, I want to make one with like a wider, um, how do you say, you know, underneath the bra, I want to make that band wider or longer. <laughs> So, um, not like a corset, but like longer, so I have the support that I want, because it's really, I have a larger bust, so it's really important for me to find good bras that have good support. And yeah, it's really expensive to buy that. And I also want to make my own underwear. It would be cool. So I will, <clears throat> I will uh, make a bra, and I actually already bought uh, a vintage style bralette 
pattern so I have to just buy some fabric and then I can make one <laughs> and I'm really excited um, and also terrified because it feels like a lot of details and um, yeah it feels like you have to be really skilled to do that but yeah I think <laughs> I think I will manage somehow I, I will have to ask the son my my sewing bestie <laughs> So uh, the next one is a skirt in some color and in some color means that I don't want to make a black one because I have one black, um, I have one like a rusty color and I have one uh, a deep red color so I have a few and, and I have like a plaid one but, um, but I want to make maybe a uh, Maybe I want to make like a, a natural linen, linen color skirt. I don't know because I want to have something um, brighter for spring and summer. So yeah, in the summer I usually only wear like a skirt and a top and my linen robe on top. So I use skirts a lot, which you will see here. I I will make uh, yeah a fair amount of skirts. I think. Yes, so uh, the next uh, the next thing I want to make is a dress um, and I want to make one with like straps and that intimidates me a bit because I'm not used to having straps and like show that much skin <laughs> uh, but I think I can make it look really nice um, and I, I'm, I'm excited for that because it uh, if it's going to be a really hot summer, which it has been for the last few years here in Sweden um, I will want to have that dress <laughs> and I want to make it in linen, of course, like everything else <laughs> um, <clears throat> So Yeah, I'm thinking like a uh, Like a sundress. Is it what it's called? I don't know, <laughs> but it's uh, um, a square neckline like this and it straps and uh, yeah, it obviously won't show any on my bra, so I, it have to go up here and then uh, around here. And then I want to make buttons in the um, in the top part, and then like a skirt with the pockets. So yeah, maybe uh, pockets on top, or maybe in the seams. I don't know. The last thing that I have uh, in sewing, it's a vest. Yeah. So I want to I want to make a vest, kind of like Joe in Little Women, because she wears skirts with uh, with like a shirt and then a vest over. It. I want to make that and um, um, yeah, that's the, kind of the style I'm going for, like 19, 18th, 19th century, which uh, yeah, aesthetics. <laughs> so. Yeah, maybe a, a deep brown or a blue fabric for that vest, or maybe I <clears throat> I would just take something that I have at home because you don't need that much of it. So yeah, but I want to make a vest, and I think that I could make a pattern for that myself because I made so because I I made like a top for uh, when I made <clears throat> made a dress for my brother's wedding that kind of looks like a vest you can actually wear it as a vest i think uh, but it's closed of course so maybe i could use that and and make a pattern for a vest i think so anyway uh, so i'm really excited about that one yeah and on to some knitting i'm, I'm currently making a, an oversized sweater <laughs> a longer sweater <clears throat> it doesn't end in my waist which is really weird and it feels so weird to knit a long sweater for myself <laughs> but I'm really excited because I it's um, it's knit in two strands of plaster loopy on size 5.5 millimeter needles and it's um, yeah it's kind of thick but I want to to use it for when I'm <clears throat> going to do to the bouldering place or when I sit on the balcony in in the spring or summer nights uh, so like a, a chunky oversized sweater that I could use with pants or yoga pants or something um, So I'm really excited to have that done so I can wear it too. So I can wear it when I'm going bouldering and um, Yeah, sitting on the balcony, you know, 
with a cup of coffee. So, uh, and I wanted that kind of sweater for a long time. I always find a, like a way to make it cropped and I won't this time uh, because I want to have um, like a homey sweater that I can use around the house or <clears throat> yeah, when I'm going out. Um, like going on a walk or something, maybe. Yeah, so it will it will end like on the middle of my hip, I think. Uh, I will have to try it on, so. And then it will have long sleeves and um, a higher neckline than I usually do on my sweaters. I actually planning to make a pattern out of it uh, because I knitted one before that's similar, um, and I really love the the neck uh, of it, and I really love like the oversized. Thing. So I will make that a pattern and then I will learn how to grade <laughs> my patterns, which is, yeah, important. <clears throat> well, so maybe that will be a test knitting thing and I, I usually write my patterns in English, so, yeah. Okay, so the next thing is I want to knit a, a cardigan. <laughs> yeah, because I knitted a cardigan a few weeks ago, no, it was before Christmas actually. So a few months ago, I knitted a, an orange cardigan uh, in single strand of Rauma Fin Ull, which is a Norwegian um, wool, two ply, <laughs> uh, on size three millimeter needles and 2.5 in the rib. So I made uh, that in the in the fall before Christmas, and I really love it. It's uh, quite nice it's it's ending it's like <clears throat> it's like a vintage fit uh, so it goes high in the neckline and I have buttons and then it ends just in my waist <clears throat> and it has long sleeves and uh, yeah. yeah I really love it and I want to make that a pattern pattern as well so I will knit another and then as I'm knitting that one I will write a pattern down and um, yeah, grade it at, as well, of course. So I will have to <coughs> make a lot of grading, it's good. Yes, so I think that's all I want to sew and knit right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about doing this like every three months or something, so I can um, yeah, so I can plan my wardrobe with you and the way I'm thinking about this this plans right now is that I want to make blouses and a sundress because for the warmer seasons and also the cardigan is it's quite thin so I can I can I think I can wear it like a long time um, and I can uh, I can wear it in the spring and in the, I think in the summer as well because we we usually have like a cold part of summer here in Sweden so yeah I think that will be nice yeah and I also want to make more stuff in Plata Lupi because I love the yarn and I love the structure um, and I am thinking about like making a big shawl because I have I have one uh, shawl that I have that I wove do you say that it's weaved <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Uh, and <clears throat> and then I have one that I knitted, but the one that I knitted isn't quite large enough because I want to have like a huge shawl that I can just wrap myself in. So yeah, I'm excited to make that as well because um, I have to wait for Plötelupi to be back in stock everywhere because yeah, it's um, because of COVID. We don't have very much Icelandic yarn at the moment here in Sweden, so it's really bad. Yeah, I think that was all. Now we'll be uh, embroidering. No, I will actually go bouldering like in half an hour and then I will uh, embroider all afternoon and all evening watching some TV shows. I'm very excited for that. I hope that you have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye!